damn it, where are you? This is why I wanted you to stay home. Ah, though this was my fault. Wait, no it isn't. He should have known about the... was my fault. If that kid dies, it's all on me. The scent goes cold here. Did he take a train? No, he couldn't have. Even he's not that stupid. He's gotta still be here somewhere. Uh! What? What the hell? What was that? This feeling. It isn't right. wrong. Fuck. I need to find Zack. Now! I realize the screaming pain Hearing loud in my brain But I'm going straight ahead With this scar Yo, Sha! Finally out of Pentagram City! Alright! Hey, shut the fuck up! I'm trying to sleep! Uh, s sorry My bad. Well, I'm back in home territory, so to speak. Still just as dangerous, but at least I don't have to worry about a mob boss or a serial killer sinner on my tail. <laughs> okay, so let's get down to business. I don't have a lot of time. So I need to get searching for one of the IMP employees. Preferably I'd rather find Luna, but I guess any of them is fine. Question is, where do I start? On one hand, if I start walking, I'm bound to find the headquarters building in a few moments. However, there's no telling how long I'll have until something happens. I hate to say it, but the fastest way is to ask for directions. Ugh, damn it. Looks like I don't have a choice. Okay, so who should I ask that doesn't look threatening? Hey, maybe that woman with the carrot. <laughs> Ooh, um, okay, maybe not her. Huh? Oh, a bar. Well, a bar is a great place to discover information. I'll try there then. I'll just make sure that I keep a low profile. <sighs> Okay, just gotta head towards the bar counter, ask for directions, then get out. It'll be a simple and clean experience. Hmm. Let's see. There's gotta be a bartender. They'd be the best one to chat with. <clears throat> um, hello? Anybody back there? Hello? 
What do you have, friend? Uh, um, uh, just some water for now. Righto. You know, I haven't seen you around much. Are you perhaps due to the pride ring? <laughs> well, you could say that. Oh? In truth, I need to help getting some direction somewhere. Well, perhaps I can help you out. As the owner of this air bar, stuff like this is my bread and butter. Where are you trying to go? Oh, that's easy. You probably heard of the place. It's the I... Hey, what the hell was that about? Huh? Hey, that was my favorite booze. Huh, <sighs> jeez, rabble rousers. Best to ignore... Does it look like I give a fuck? Huh? Feminine? Frightening? And the very sound of it shakes me to my very core. That can only be... I'll ask you again. Where is he? Now answer again. I don't know who the hell you're talking about. Uh, don't fuck with me! I can smell him on you! You reek of caramel coffee! So, I could have drunk some coffee today. Wait, but don't you hate coffee? Shut up, dumbass. <laughs> You have until the count of three. If you keep this up, I'll beat it out of you two! Bitch, you don't want to cross me. I have no problems breaking you in front of everyone here, in more ways than one. One? <sighs> oh, well look at that. She's actually counting. Thought bitches like this one weren't even capable of anything more than a good time. Two? Ah, uh, come on, lady. We could be friends here, right? It would be a shame if we had to kill someone with such a nice act. Three! <laughs> Start talking! Whoa. You just made a big mistake. I was going to cut you a break if you decided to give me a bit of attention in the back. But now... The only thing I want to see you do is gag on your own blood, you little skink. <laughs> yeah, you would know all about that, wouldn't you? Especially with all the dicks you suck. I think I've had just about enough of your flipwood. How about I do you a favor and remove them from your face? Shit, this isn't good. Gotta do something before... <laughs> you think you're actually intimidating to me? Your little butter knife isn't going to do shit for you. And what makes you so sure? <laughs> Cause you're too much of a fucking idiot. Um, mind bringing a rag and a bowl of water? <laughs> Fucking damn it, now my fur is all dirty. Leave it to a damn fuckboy to mess shit up. Now what do I do? Um, you okay? Ugh, now what? I'm not in the mood for another- uh, <laughs> You! Um, uh, uh, hi! This is not going to be fun. Um, hey there, Luna. You, uh, got a little something on your face. Let me just... There. Got it. Where have you been? I've been looking every fucking where for you! Now, now, please. Calm down. If you'll let me explain. Uh, and what happened to your eye? Did someone curse you or some <laughs> shit? <laughs> Wait, stop shaking me! Can you just let me- Wait, you were worried about me? Uh, 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 what the fuck? No, I was not worried about you! Ah, uh, false. I can tell that you're alive. Not only did you slightly hesitate, but your tail twitched and your right ear flicked. That man is a tail. So... Ugh, whatever. Look, now that I found you, it's time I do something I should have done. Hey! What's going on? Where are we going? We aren't going anywhere. You're going home. Huh? Wait, hold on. I can't go home yet. <laughs> Excuse me? 
What the fuck do you mean that you can't go home yet? This is hell, not some resort, you know? Yes, I know, but I can't leave. Something is happening and I have to solve this. My pride as a mystery writer won't allow me to leave until everything is solved. I don't give a fuck about your pride. You're going home right now. Wait, hold on. Just give me a minute to explain. There's some stuff going on down here, and you and your friends could be at the end of a cocked gun. <laughs> what else is new? Like I said, it's hell. Damn it, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get hurt if I don't do something. Well, what if you had something that could be seen as valuable? You know, like that thing that only an Ars Goetia demon can have? <laughs> Shut it! What the hell is wrong with you? That's a company secret, you dumbass! Ignore the blood. Ignore the blood. That's what I wanted to tell you, if you let me. It's a bad situation, and I think that it'd be best if you let me explain. Hey! This ain't a show! Get bent to my drone damn business! You have ten minutes. If you don't convince me in that amount of time, your ass is going straight home. Mm. Well, before that, we should do something about those hands of yours. And also my face. Ah, thank you very much. Jeez, glad I wasn't on the receiving end of Luna's wrath. That definitely would have been painful. <clears throat> okay, first off, I want to ask you some questions. What? Why? It'll help me understand what's going on. Please, it's very important. <sighs> Fine, alright, what do you want to know? Okay, that item that Blitz and you guys have, what exactly is it? Perhaps it's something really rare? Rare doesn't even begin to describe it. What you're talking about is a very ancient grimoire. It's powerful, valuable, and it's something that a demon would kill for. Grimoires are used for magic spells and incantations, right? Don't demons already possess the ability to do things like that on their own? Well, not all of them. Only a certain few can, such as Succubi and Incubi, Hellhounds, some sinners, and definitely some demons that are higher up on the hierarchy. This grimoire is kind of an easy pass for those who want to use magic but can't. Huh. Then I can see why it's so valuable then. Oh, I haven't even scratched the surface. There's one other spell that is possible to cast when using that book. And that is? It allows demons to cross into the living world. Huh? Wait, is that how you and the others were able to get to me? And the other killings you've done were actually possible with the book too? Yeah, that's right. In fact, that book is so useful and dangerous that it's illegal for anyone other than an Ars Galicia demon to use or even own that grimoire. If it got out that we had it, IMP would instantly be fucked. Then it would make sense that it would catch demons' attention. With it out of the hands of the ghost Galatia and into an imp's hands, now would be the perfect time for them to strike. Here, take a listen to this. I think you'll see why I'm skeptical of things being a normal everyday occurrence. Day 3, 12.39 a.m. I seem to have infiltrated the place without much of an issue. I have been given my mask and my own quarters. This place is large, almost like a palace. I'm surprised no one knows about this place. I've also learned a few things. The boss has his eyes on someone, or rather, a group of people. They have something. Something that only an Ars Goetia demon can obtain. It's unclear how, but that is irrelevant. For now, I'm going to try and keep myself from being found out. Tomorrow, however, I will be heading out to Imp City. When I do, I'll be telling the one known as Blitz. Maybe I can catch one of the boss's cronies following me. Well, you're definitely not lying. If this guy was going to tell Blitzo, then that definitely means he was asking for trouble. And if the group he infiltrated was actually hoping to find you guys, then there's a chance that they were actually going to attack you. Maybe they already have. Maybe they could be... The, the sniper, sniper from the, the human, human world! world. <clears throat> uh... <clears throat> anyway, do you believe me now? You and your friends are in danger. And these guys are not going to stop attacking you. So you're going to need my help to find them. Look, I will admit you're not bad at a... 
or whatever you call this. But you can't deny that you'll be in danger at every second and moment you're here. Not only that, but you're a human, which means you'll be a bigger target for demons thanks to that soul of yours. Well, I can't deny that. But I also can't deny that I have to figure out what's going on. Somebody shot me, remember? I at least want to find out who pulled the trigger. Fine, if you're really sure, but you're gonna have to get Blitzo to agree to this. Huh? Wait, why? Because he's the boss. Besides, you found the info, so you should give it to him. Uh, okay, fair point. Come on, let's get back to IMP then. The faster we warn your friends, the better. Uh... Why do I feel like this is going to be the most dangerous chat in my life? <laughs> what? Don't tell me you're going to pussy out of this now. I, I am not. I'm just psyching myself up, that's all. A mental pep talk. Just hurry it up. We've been standing here for ten minutes. <sighs> oh, Looney, you're back. <laughs> More like fucking late. You were supposed to be here four hours ago. Last thing I wanted was to deal with you and your easy-to-manage ass. Besides, I had to pick this fucker up. Um, hey, guys. Oh, it's the human! Uh, Zack, right? Yeah, that's me. And nice to see you all again. So, you're still alive. And with a new set of duds and a... new eye? Uh, yeah. That's a long story. One that I don't exactly know how to explain. This fucker ended up getting his ass trapped in Pentagram City. He just made it back here. Wait, seriously? Well, how'd you pull that off? Like I said, long story. Um, anyway, I'm here because I have some information for you. Information? Mm, yeah. I swiped this from someone who seems suspicious, as well as this mask. I think that someone is after your grimoire that you're always using. And just how the hell do you know about that? Probably not a good idea to tell him that Luna spilled the beans. Elementary, my dear Blitz. I basically did a bit of digging and some interrogation. I also know that you having that grimoire isn't exactly legal here in hell. And if what people say is true about only the Ars Goetia being able to own it, then the only way you could have that book is through an Ars Goetia. Whether you stole it or if it was given to you means little. However, there is only one person that you could have obtained it from. Someone who knows you very well. That person is your friend. A Stolus Goetia, right? Oh, wow! How'd you know all that? <laughs> Well, let's just say I ran into someone. Add that with all the other info I found, and bam! Easy hypothesis. Well, you're 100% right! In truth, the prince is Blitzo's boyfriend! W wait seriously? How'd you pull that one off? Is he, like, stupid? Maybe he's just very, very, very desperate. Well, we, uh, we aren't exactly together. It's like, how do I put it? Uh... You fuck him and he gives you the book? Yeah, exactly! He and I have an agreement. I fuck his ass every full moon, and I get to use the book. No one knows about it. Well, people know about the affair, just not the book. Yes, Moxie, we all know that! Well... Regardless, I think you should get that book back to Mr. Stolas pronto. The more you guys have it, the more likely you and your friends are going to have a target on your back. What makes you say that? Take a listen to the cassette tape. There's two tapes. Each go hand in hand with each other. That should be your proof. Day 3. 1239. Hey, I never I asked, but what did you mean when you said hierarchy? Is there some sort of power roll here or something? Something like that? Here, let me show you. Take a look at this. Uh, did you seriously go and find a food pyramid online? What is this, grade school? Shut up. It was the best way I could describe it. 
Anyway, as you can see, there's a bit of a power hierarchy here in Hell. Starting from the bottom tier, we have imps and hellhounds, then the hellborns like Incubi and Succubi, next is sinners, then overlords, then the Ars Goetia demons. Afterwards, it goes to the seven deadly sins. Lastly, it's Princess Charlie and her mother Lilith, before it all comes to an end with Lucifer Morningstar, the king of hell. Huh. This seems legit. So has anybody been able to go up the hierarchy ladder? Eh, none that I know of. It's usually the same, but with the powers and abilities that are available to specific people. Though, in my opinion, a well-placed bullet can kill anyone, so take that as you will. Hmm. Kinda interesting. Does that mean that imps and hellhounds are on the bottom of the spectrum? If so, then that means that these guys might very well have it the hardest. Well, seems like what you're saying is true. Sir, this seems bad. If we're really being targeted by some group, then we could be in more danger than ever before. For once, I think I agree with you, Mox. Well, the best thing we can do is find these bitches and take them down! Hun, that may be great on paper, but we don't even know where they are. For all we know, they could be in some other ring. We can't just sit around and wait for them, Mox. They're messing with us, so we gotta fuck them up first! Nell is right. These fuckers are messing with the wrong imp! And the last thing I need is for someone else to fuck up my walls again! Uh... What did he mean by that? Don't worry about it. So then what do we do? Hmm. You know, I think I have an idea. Um... Alright, kid. I'm gonna be honest with you. You see, we're in a bit of a tight spot here. We're being hunted down, you're stuck here in hell with us, and since you're affiliated with me and my employees, Technically, you're more than likely to be hunted as well. So... You're gonna be my new employee! What?! Uh, wait, huh? Me? You want me to work for you? Exactly! You were able to find out all this information just from one little rob in Pentagram City with our assassination skills and your brains. Dealing with these asswipes shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, he'd be working as an investigator? Yeah, that's right. You'll be IMP's number one investigator. The first of its kind. I'm 95% sure he'll be just fine. And if he isn't, then he'll just die anyway. It's a win-win scenario. Something tells me I don't have many options here. I either join them and figure this out, or I don't and try to figure this out on my own. Wait! This is kind of an easy question, isn't it? <sighs> like he'd actually go for it. He's too much of a pussy to even consider. I'm in. Where do I sign? Wait, what? Perfect! Give me one second. And... I'm gonna need you to sign here, 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 initial here, birthday here, dick link here, and blood stamp here. Wait, blood stamp where? Ow, hey! Perfect. Welcome to the team, Zack. Now, show, show, go and get yourself some rest! We have a whole lot of work to do tomorrow! Huh. Well, that was easy. Yeah! Oh, this is gonna be so much uh, fun! Uh, I've never worked with a human before. We're gonna work well together, right, Mox? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh, don't mind him. He's just shy around new folks. Believe me. Uh, well, it's not that big a deal. I hope we can work well together, Miss Millie. Yeah, yeah, we're all so happy you're here. Hate to break up the meeting, but we need to talk. Let's go, pussy. You think she's gonna eat him? 50% yes, but 50% no. Here, take this. Um, thanks. Though I usually don't drink. Uh, so, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Ground rules. That's what. Ground rules? Uh, about what? One, you cannot leave the house without telling me. Two, 
When I'm asleep, you stay in the closet. If you even open the door, I will hear you. You mean like how you heard me last time? Zip it. Three, no one can know you stay in my closet. If Blitzo knew he'd put so many bullets in your body, you could take a whole football team. I'm not going to ask what she means by that. You keep to those rules, and we shouldn't have any problems. Uh, right. Got it. Huh. Well, since I'm now here, where's the nearest grocery store? Huh? Oh, it's just down the street. Why? Because your fridge was empty after the breakfast I made you. We gotta get you some good, healthy foods for your place. Wait, what? No, seriously, we don't need to- Bubba, it is imperative that you have a balanced meal every single day. Three square meals. But I- Blood out, but- Bubba! Ugh, okay, fine. Just stop talking like a baby already. You're embarrassing me. Me boo wee. Hmm, let's see. Should I get the jasmine rice? That usually is the most cost effective, but does it have the best nutrients? Ugh, does it really matter? It's just rice. Rice is a pivotal part of the healthy meal experience. If it's not done correctly, it could screw up the entire meal. Fine, just hurry it up and get your rice so we can go. Now hold on, we also gotta get our meats. Fucking damn it, what else is on your list? Well, we need drinks, snacks, fruit, some bread, noodles, meatballs, eggs, butter, chips, salsa... How the hell do you plan to buy all this? Buy? This is hell, right? Yeah... So... Hey you two, get back here! Phew! So that's what it's like to shoplift. Wow! What a rush! <laughs> Gotta admit, didn't think you had it in you. Not bad. Well, as they say, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. <laughs> now, what should I prepare? Maybe some chicken parmesan? Oh, or maybe some Philly cheesesteak! Though, maybe it's better to start with something small, like cheese sticks. Why the hell are you so fixated on preparing dinner? Huh? Well, who wouldn't be? Gotta make sure you're filled up with a delicious meal. As well as myself, of course. Oh, and Blitz can have some too, whenever he gets home. Uh, but why? Why not just make dinner for yourself and be done with it? I mean, I guess I just want to make sure you guys are fed too? <laughs> or you just want to poison us. Huh? Wait, why would I do that? Hey, I'm just keeping my guard up around you. After all, humans like you are dangerous. Humans like me? Explain. Bud, here's something you gotta learn. Demons, to which I mean sinners, are made when humans die. With there being so many sinners here in hell, then that means there are way more shitty humans in the living world than ever. Humans and demons are real alike, and that's because we're both pieces of shit. There's no good human or good demon, just shit. Hmm. You know, you say that, but I don't think you actually believe that. <laughs> Excuse me? If you actually believe that, then you wouldn't have saved me when I got shot. Now, would you? Huh? Uh, I... Uh, I only did that so you wouldn't end up trying to kill me when you got reborn as a sinner, that's all. Sure, whatever you say, Miss Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> Shut up, pussy. How about we make a little wager, then? Explain. In the time that I'm here helping you guys, I'm gonna prove to you that humans and demons can be decent folks. If I do, then you have to do anything I say. Pfft. And what happens when you inevitably fail? Then I'll actually be your slave for a whole week. That sound good? Meh, sure, why not? It's not like you're gonna win this bet anyway. I'll prove you wrong, trust me. Now, back to dinner. I think I'll make us some spaghetti tonight, with meatballs, parmesan cheese, and some cheesecake for dessert. Again, you don't have to cook. And again, I want to. Why not enjoy the chance to have a delicious home-cooked meal? No need to be the normal goth stubborn type. It's all here to help you. 
Plus, it also gives me the chance to have a delicious home-cooked meal. Damn, you're a stubborn one. But I guess a home-cooked meal isn't so bad. Fine, but I'm helping too. Really? Hey, that'd be great! Your hands and claws would be perfect for cutting the meats and the like. Oh, and I could teach you how to make the cheesecake! It's so fun! <laughs> alright, alright, calm down, little Ramsey. Hmm? Huh. Her tail is wagging. Is she? <laughs> hmm. Before a hellhound, she can be kinda cute. seem recognizable. The clothes, the eye, it's all so different from how I usually look. <sighs> well, there's no use trying to figure it all out now. One mystery at a time. The rest will come to light eventually. For now, I better focus on this secret group situation. Or rather, whether or not I can actually find these guys. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to locate a small store in a town. This is way bigger than that. Though I guess that kind of comparison doesn't make much sense. Regardless, I can't exactly just dip now. <gasps> hey, pussy! Hurry it up in there! Blitzo is going to be back with Moxie and Millie soon, and we need to make it seem like you just got here! Well, at least she's up and at him. And can you even use that word in that context? I uh, got it! On my way! So, uh, do you usually get to work after everyone else? No. Usually, I don't even wake up until way later, but whatever. I mean, we are in a bit of a different situation right now. Yeah, that's fair. You're not at all scared about all this? <laughs> this isn't the first time I've been in a situation with possible death. It's kind of what happens when you're a hitman. Well, I can't disagree with you there. What? Don't tell me you're already thinking about pussying out. Of course not. I'm just preparing myself for what's in store, that's all. Sure, sure. Get in, loser! And hell hell. We got some fuckers to fight, fuck! <laughs> um, morning, everyone. Morning, Zach. Sleep well? I guess so. Though I will say that my body is a little stiff. It's kind of cramped in the claw. I mean, uh, motel. Yeah, motel. Uh, okay then. So what do we do now, sir? Well, until we find these assholes that's after us, we can't exactly go and do more jobs. So our best bet is to start tracking them down. And when I mean we, I mean Zach. So, what do we do first, kid? Hmm. Our best bet is to find someone who knows the ins and outs of what's going on in hell. Someone who knows everything there is to know about the place. And who would you be suggesting? I'll tell you, but some of you may not like it. You gotta be fucking kidding me! Out of all the places to search, why this place? N now, now, just hear me out, okay? Mr. Stolas is a very prominent figure in Hell's hierarchy. If there was anyone who could give some sort of clue as to what's going on, it's him. Hate to admit it, but he's right. Dude's intelligent. Pretty sure he'd know something. But we need to be careful here, too. If we say the wrong thing or bring attention to the fact that the Grimoire is the sole reason why we're being targeted, then there'd be a chance that he'd take it back. 
Well, wouldn't it just be better if he took it back? I mean, if he's so powerful, then he would have no problem killing and taking down the secret group by himself. Maybe, but if he took it back, then he could just keep it with him from now on. Like, the whole full moon fun time agreement would be basically ended, you know? You have a point there. It'd be too dangerous for him to keep this up. If he knew about what was going on, at least. Not to mention that, since it's illegal for anyone that isn't always going to have this book, he'd be in a fairly large amount of trouble if the situation got out of hand and into the open. Which also means that you're treading a very thin line here. You find whatever info you need. But then after that, we're out of here! Last thing anyone wants is to see Beakface try to fill my holes in front of everyone! I'm fairly certain that he's overthinking things, but it's best not to test him. Alright, alright. It'll be fast. In and out. Just like Stolas and Blitz on a full moon night. <laughs> so here we are again. Didn't think I'd have to come back here. Remember, kid. Make it quick. I want to be out of here as soon as possible. Uh, gotcha, boss. Oh, Mr. Blitz. You're here rather early. A few weeks early, if I'm correct. Yeah, so it seems. Look, I have someone who wants to see Stolas. Mind letting us in? Of course, sir. Please, if you'll all follow me. So, um, do you do the interior work, Mr. Butler guy? Me? <laughs> no, no. I don't do the interior designing, I just work to keep the place clean. Really? Wow, then you do a pretty good job. Gotta say, the waxing on the floors is very... <coughs> Nerds. <coughs> hey! Excuse me, but we're here. This is his study. I believe he was studying a few constellations. Will any of you be needing anything else? Um, no, I think we're good. Very well, sir. Oh, and if there are any messes that are made, there are a few towels in there for Mr. Blitz and Master Stolas. Yes, you may enter. <laughs> oh, it seems I have guests. What a pleasant surprise. Hmm? So, Mr. Treble, you're still alive. I had a feeling that you'd pull through, though I still can't help but be a bit surprised. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'm just a tenacious one. So it seems. So, what brings you here? I'm sure that you're not just here to deliver me a very delicious package. <laughs> <clears throat> we have a bit of a situation, Mr. Stolas. You see, I've kind of been, um, commissioned to find a group of people. IMP is being targeted. Apparently Blitz made someone pissed and they want to fuck him and his business up. Huh? Oh, I mean, yeah, that's right. I see. If you would please excuse us for a moment, I need to speak with my Blitzy. Hey, wait! I'm not here to- Calm down. We're just going to talk. Just a moment, you all. <laughs> what the fuck are you thinking? Do you know how dangerous this is? I don't understand what you mean. Blitzy, listen to me. This is a human we're dealing with here. It is forbidden for a living human to be here in hell. If word gets out that he's here, you and I will be in some serious trouble. I'm aware of that. But listen, this kid is good. He could find info in moments. He could read a person with just a look. It's actually very badass. Did you not hear me? He's a human! Stolas, you and I both know something is up with him. Even if we let him go back home, there's a chance that more trouble will arise. So, 
You knew. Of course I did. I'm not that oblivious. We need to keep an eye on him. <sighs> Look, Blitzy, I understand what you're saying, but we cannot let him stay here. Forgetting the fact that it's forbidden, you have to remember that this is a terrible place. Anything and everything can happen to someone here. I got you. And we'll keep him in check. Just give him a chance. He may surprise you. Oh, very well. I will give him one chance. He has to surprise me. Otherwise, it's back to the human world. One chance is all he needs. We shall see. Thing tops. Huh? W wait, what? Between the boss and his majesty. Who do you think tops between them? Who the hell knows? Last thing I want to do is picture Blitzo dicking down Owlboy, or vice versa. Ugh. Odd to hear that from someone who has syphilis. Shut it, fatty. Hmm. That Stolas guy is definitely a mystery all in himself. Maybe I can get an idea of what kind of guy he is. Hey, gardening gloves. They seem to be his size. So he's into gardening. Astronomy is another thing he's into. Lots of constellations. Specifically this one. Orion, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. The greatest gift given. Did something happen underneath these stars? A photo of Octavia. Could what he mean by that be about her birth? Or maybe it's her favorite constellation? The greatest gift given. If it is about his daughter, then that means that he has a great love for her. Though I can't help but feel like the affair has strained the relationship a bit. Not to mention the relationship with his wife, too. Stella, wasn't it? Who are these people? Androlphus, Asmodeus, and... Zephyr? These two seem to be in his family. But this Zephyr guy... He's definitely a different species. Another Arzgoetia demon, no doubt. Hmm. This one. It says father on it. Paimon is on the back of it. Is that his father's name? Okay, one more thing. Then I think I'll have a good idea on this guy. Oh, what do we have here? Sheet music? Hmm, yeah, lyrics and all. Let's see. This guy, he's confusing, but I think I have a good picture in my head. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just thinking about something. Okay, so Blitzy and I had a bit of a discussion about you, Mr. Trevor. About me? What do you mean? Mostly in regards to you being here. As you know, hell is quite the place. Death, kidnapping, and many other unsavory things happen here. And a human such as yourself shouldn't be in that sort of place. Yes, I've been told, but... Not to mention that having a living human in the demon world is forbidden. You being here for as long as you have would cause much more trouble than you're worth, I assure you. That is true, but if you just let me... However, I'm going to give you a chance. G wait, what? Blitzy has told me that you are very good at reading people and finding out information. I want to see your skills for myself. If you surprise me, perhaps I can look away for the time being. Until you figure out what is going on. If you don't, however, it is back to your home. Understood? So, what's he gotta do? Right here and now, 
He has to tell me about myself. Wait, what? Y your Majesty, with all due respect, that seems a bit unfair. Zack hasn't met you for more than a day, and he- Mox, put a cork in it. But, sir- The kid's got this. Let him do his thing. Do your thing, kid. Mm. <sighs> First off, Mr. Stolas, I will admit that you're a hard one to understand. I guess that's the qualms with you being someone of royalty. Giving excuses, Mr. Trevor? Far from it, actually. In truth, I'm just stating how good my skills are. For example, I can tell that you're into constellations, a direct sign that you're into astronomy. Orion is one of the constellations you seem to enjoy the most. More on that one later, of course. I can also tell you're into gardening. Not only do you have some of your gloves in your desk drawer, but you also have a few specks of planting soil on the left side of your desk. Pretty good grade, too. Probably an expensive amount. Interesting. Please go on. Gladly. You also seem to be in the middle of a scandal. An affair with Blitz, actually. Once a month on the full moon night, right? Must be pretty difficult getting him in here, especially with your wife and daughter. Though I'm fairly certain they know already, since you and your wife make it very apparent in the house. His pinky twitched. Definitely a tell. I'm getting close. If I may ask, does your family know? Perhaps Osmodius, Andrelphus, or maybe your father, Paimon. Pretty sure they'd know fairly well. They don't, Mr. Trevel. No, no, of course they wouldn't. After all, your wife seems to be a fairly uptight little prick, hmm? Caring only about her image and the Goetia name? Bet you regret even meeting her. Perhaps you even regret conceiving a child with her. Excuse me? Octavia, I believe her name is. Into taxidermy, kind of depressing music, just your everyday goth girl. Pretty sure your relationship with her has been a bit rocky, wouldn't you say? Uh, uh Zach, maybe you should reel it back a bit. Luna, please. I'm not done. Octavia is tying you to her. After all, that's most likely the only reason why you even deal with that ball and chain's bullshit. Has she broken anything? Perhaps threw things at you? Threatened you? <laughs> Who could tell? You hide it very well. That's all you can do. And you know what? It's all your fault. You let your own lust get the better of you, didn't you? Now, your bonds and relationships are breaking to pieces. Your wife hates you. And your daughter, who knows? She could hate you too. Who could tell? And there's a possibility that there's nothing you can do about it. You are treading down a very, very dangerous road, Mr. Treville. You have the goal. To try and tell me what I feel in regards to my own kin. I do. You asked for this, and I'm only doing what you asked, Your Majesty. In fact, I haven't even begun to be finished. Y you know what? I think we're done here. I'm sure he's shown you enough, so we should be on our way. <laughs> Let's go, Zach. Silence. Let him speak if he knows this much. As the stars start to align, I hope you take it as a sign that you'll be okay. Where did you- You wrote that song, correct? It's a lullaby for your daughter. She, along with you, has a fascination for constellations and stars. Orion seems to be her favorite. The greatest gift given. It's what you associate your daughter with. You made mistakes, you did some stuff, and you can be a bit creepy, but at the end of the day, you're just a father. Remember when I said there's a chance that you don't care about your daughter? That you regret having her? Well, all the clues point to that being false. 
You love her. And deep down, I'm sure she loves you. She's just dealing with things in her own way. Perhaps you have some skills after all. So, does that mean... Yes, he can stay. And I will answer any questions you have. Yes! This is why I watch mystery movies. <coughs> so, I have a question about this. A mask? What's this about? A guy who I have reason to believe that is one of the people after these guys was wearing this. Someone who was a part of the same group was with them too. I was wondering if you knew anything about it. I haven't seen any masks like this, at least not in hell. Seems to me like some sort of calling card rather than a mask. Maybe. Especially if it's worn by everyone in a group. Indeed. I would suggest looking in Pentagram City. It's a hunch, but you may find what you're looking for there. Got it. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Stolas. Come on, guys. Let's get going. All of this for a hunch. What a waste of time. Huh? Hey! Just a moment. I need to check something, if you will. Uh, uh, Mr. Stolas? This feeling... Is it really... Huh? Hey, are you okay? Y yes, I I'm fine. Just was surprised is all. Look, Zack, you're at the center of something very dangerous, something beyond your understanding. Faltering in the slightest will mean your death. Do not forget that, Zack. Uh... Right. I'll remember that. Oh, and Zack, I don't know what you are exactly. But I can tell you this. You are no longer the human you believe you are. What the hell did he mean by that? Of course I'm still human. I have to be. I mean... What else could I even be? What's wrong with me? Wait, Zack? Uh, oh, Octavia, right? You actually survived? You're sporting a new eye. Uh, yeah, that's a bit difficult to explain. I kind of forgot you lived here. What's up? Nothing much. I just got myself a book from the library here. There's a library here? Has been here since forever. Huh, cool. Um, anyway, I wanted to ask you something, if that's okay. If you're asking me on a date, then you should know I'm 17. That was the farthest thing from my mind. I'm actually looking for information on this mask. Do you by any chance know anything? Unfortunately, I have not. Well, maybe there is something. Really? It could be anything at all. There's no bad idea. If you're sure, then there was a photo I saw not too long ago on social media. Here, look at this. Huh. It's a nice photo, but... Wait. That guy. He has the same mask. He must be going to duck into that alley. And if my eyes aren't playing tricks on me, that dude in the back isn't sleeping. He must have been murdered by the same guy! This proves it! Where was this photo taken? Um, it says Pentagram City on the location. So Stolas's hunch was correct. Our best bet is to start there, and I think we should first find out where the owner of this mask is. Maybe we can find him somewhere. I have just the thing for that. Follow me to the library. Huh? Uh, wait! Let me see. I know it's in here somewhere. Huh? Bingo. There it is. This should help you out in your mystery. Take a look. Ooh. 
Ooh, shiny! It's a magnifying glass! It's not just a magnifying glass. Take a look through it. You may be surprised. Whoa! Your clothes are glowing! Exactly. This glass is imbued with magic. It allows for one to find the owner to small objects. For example, that mask that we wore should be glowing in red light. Simply follow the trail of the red smoke that it is connected to. Then you should be able to find its owner. I see. Wait, are you sure I can take this? Wouldn't your dad get mad or something? I wouldn't worry about him. It's been collecting dust for a few years. If anyone can put it to good use, it'll be you. Huh. Well, thanks, Octavia. This will definitely come in handy. It's not a problem. Let me know if you need anything else. It's been boring here, so a little bit of research and danger can help liven up the place. A little help? Well, an ours Goetia may be pretty useful, especially with research. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe she can be of some use. Actually, you can help me with something. You seem to be pretty active in social media. Keep an eye out for anything else that has to do with anything that Mass shows up in. Other photos, people who saw them, etc. Also, I need you to find out who this guy in the back is. He may give a bit more insight on what's going on. Not to mention if he has friends that we can question. Got it. Shouldn't be too hard. Anything else? Yeah, but this one, be sure to be discreet. I need you to figure out what's up with my eye. Are you sure it's just not pink eye? Oh, ha ha, very funny. Seriously though, something is up with this thing, and I need help finding out what's wrong. Alright, leave it to me. I'll give you a call when I find something. Um, do you have a cell phone? Not exactly. Call me when you get the chance, and get a cell phone, would you? Well, that was a waste of time. I disagree. We now know that we need to take a look at Pentagram City for clues. Well, that was more of a hunch, but yeah, kinda. Also, something isn't right here. What? That Zack was somehow able to keep the reason why we're being attacked discreet? No, it's that you're sitting in the passenger side with me, rather than my loony! You sure you don't want to sit up here with me, sweetie? Blitzo, I'm fine. Just keep driving already. Hmm. The mystery is starting to thicken. With the new magnifying glass and the information that Octavia is going to find, Maybe we can find something that'll get us to where we're going. The pieces are beginning to appear. I just gotta make sure I find them. Huh? Uh, yeah? What's up? What did he say to you? Uh, what did who say? Stolas, Beakface, whatever you call him, what did he say to you? Oh, yeah. That's kinda hard to explain. All he said was that I was not the human I think I believe I am. If anyone asks any more questions, you don't answer. Do you understand me? If something happens, you tell me first. Do you understand me? Uh, yeah, got it. I understand. Jeez, you could be a little- She's right, you know. Huh? Uh, did someone say something? Nope. nope. You tell anyone anything, then you're toast, toast, toast. Okay, seriously, who knows how to throw their voice, because I know someone's... Behind you. Huh? Huh? You! Stop the fan! Huh? I said stop the fan, damn it! <laughs> Alright, bitch. What are you... What the? Where did he go? Where did who go? The, the guy! The guy in the window! He was he was in the window! Don't tell me you guys didn't see him! What? W wait, no. That's... <sighs> okay, okay, calm down. You're probably 
which is getting overly worried. Stress plus all this happening is messing with your head. You just gotta relax. You just gotta relax. Oh, your head is not getting messed with. None of the stress is apparent. Hey, have you been sleeping well? Calm down, I'm not gonna fuck with you too bad. Just relax before you look all cuckoo in the head. Go on, get back in the old car, okay? Uh, never mind. False alarm. We should get back to work, okay? Come, come, let's get moving, okay? Chummy with folks who help you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I am the one that saved you. Remember? The guy who unlocked your powers. Wait. You gave me these powers? The agility? The strength? And the heightened senses and a much more durable body. And no, I didn't give those to you. I just unlocked it. No, no. Someone else is responsible for that one. I'm guessing you already know who. You gonna tell me? Can't tell you that. Yet. Besides, you're the detective, so you should be able to figure it out, right? Anyways, you have a bit of a mystery to solve, so I'm gonna skedaddle. G hey Get back here! Don't worry, I won't be too far. Remember, I'm always watching. Oh, and one more thing. Don't go dying. Even with the thought of you getting reborn as a demon, it won't end well for you. Well, that was crazy. So that thing's name is Im, huh? I have a feeling I'll be seeing him again. I can't think about that now. We have a whole lot of work to do. Zack? Hey, Zack! Huh? Oh, uh, yeah? What's up? You okay? That was kind of weird back there. Uh, yeah. I'm alright. Just had a lot on my mind. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. I have an idea as to where we're going. Blitz, follow my lead. We've got someone to find. The fuck is this place supposed to be? It looks like a club. Apparently people call it the Devil Saliva. What kind of a name is that? <laughs> Don't ask me, I didn't name the place. Seems to be locked. Maybe it's one of those clubs that only opens at night. Um, isn't that just a nightclub? Yeah, that! Well, since we're here, we might as well bust in there and take some names! Whoa, hold on there, bad idea. What do you mean it's a bad idea? Dude, we're dealing with a band of ninjas, basically. We gotta have some more tact before we go in there to cause trouble. Then what would you suggest? Because if you've got nothing, then we're gonna fuck some shit up! Now, hear me out, okay? We stake out the place for a bit of time, see who's going in and out. We may see someone who has something to do with all the shit that's going on. Fine, fine. You're the investigator. So, where do we hide out? Hmm. Well, that rooftop seems like a good idea. Alright, I've got an avocado salad for Mox, a fish sandwich for Mill, and some popcorn for yours truly. Eat up, everyone! I would thank you, sir, but then I remembered that it was my card that you used. Come on, Mox, don't be a bitch. As you know, you gotta give some to get some. 
It's just how life works. <laughs> Thanks for lunch, boss. Glad to know you guys are relaxed, especially with everything that's happening. Meh, this is like a Tuesday for us. It's not that big a deal. Trust me. Only different part is that you, a human, are helping us with this whole thing. Guess that is kind of new, huh? Hey, I'm back. Here's your steak sandwich. Oh, thank you very much! Also, take this. It's a cell phone I was able to get. I added my number and IMP's number, so you should have no problems calling anyone. Ooh, it's shiny. It's even got that new phone smell. Wait, but how did you afford this? <laughs> afford? Remember, this is hell. Like anyone actually buys shit. Well, regardless, this will definitely come in handy. Thanks, Luna. So anyway, kid, what's your story? Huh? What do you mean by that? Come on, you gotta at least have some story. I mean, you were almost killed by us, so you had to have pissed off someone, right? Oh, uh, well, that's the thing. I don't know who I pissed off. You sure you didn't mess with someone on the wrong day at some point in your life? Positive! I don't really see why someone would want to attack me, to be honest. I hadn't done anything. Well, maybe it was someone else who did it. And they placed the hit on you to get back at someone. Like, what if they did it to make your parents suffer? Yeah, uh, I don't think that's it. Believe me. <laughs> what makes you so sure? Let me guess, your parents are too sweet and kind to mess with anyone, right? No, not at all. It's impossible that it's the case because they can't mess with anyone. How so? They, uh... <laughs> well, let's just say that they can't hurt anyone and leave it at that. It's impossible that they could, that's all. That's not much of an answer. If anything, it seems kinda suspicious. Yeah, well, uh, I, um... Huh? What's up? See someone? Yeah, I do. Someone's entering through the front. He looks suspicious. Should we kidnap him and start questioning him? I don't think that'd be too smart. We're in broad daylight and there's no telling whether or not he's the only one around. Not to mention, we don't know if he's actually one of the people who's involved in this. Oh no, he's a part of it, all right. Take a look at his bag. Something is sticking out of it. It's another one of those masks! So, we found our guy. Hell fucking yeah! Let's get his ass! Hold on. Remember that we need to be discreet. Let's stay here until the club opens. If he leaves, we tail him. If not, then we go in there and make some heads roll. The shadows are closing. With that red mace leading into that building, and that guy having the mask in his possession, I'm sure it's We're gonna need to be really careful for what's gonna happen next. Okay, now we can bust in there and start asking some questions. So, Mr. Investigator, what's the plan? My advice is that we split up into two groups. Luna and I will follow the trail and see if we can find the owner of that mask. You, Moxie, and Millie will look around the place and watch for anyone suspicious. You got it! Um, but, uh, aren't you forgetting something? Um, what do you mean? <laughs> you can't seriously be thinking that it's a good idea to go in there with that simple <gasps> firearm, right? Huh? Uh, I really don't think I do well with guns. Besides, what about Luna? She doesn't have a gun. Looney's a vicious hellhound who can rip apart any demon with her bare hands. I don't think she'll be too hard pressed without one. Yep, super killer hellhound. That's me or whatever. Uh huh. Seriously though, I don't think it'll be a good idea if I have one. I, uh, don't know how to shoot a gun. Wait, are you serious? You've never shot a gun before? Uh, well, no, not really. Kiddo, how about we change that? Huh? Wait, 
hold on. What do you mean by that? I really don't think this is a good idea. Nonsense! This will be good for you. If you're working with us, you gotta learn how to shoot. Alright, so this is a very simple concept. When shooting, it's imperative to keep a steady form. The recoil on a gun may vary in strength, but for the gun you have, which is the Charter Arms Pitbull 9mm revolver, you shouldn't have an issue with a gun flying out of your hands. Um, that's cool? Now, keep your shoulders square, firm grip on your gun, and take aim at the cans in front of you. Once you're confident, pull the trigger, and shoot. Uh, okay, so I just pull this trigger, right? That's the only trigger on there, yeah. Right. Right. I got this. Just pull the trigger. Pull my devil trigger. Your devil what? Nothing! Nothing! I'm just psyching myself up. Fuck me. JUST SHOOT THE DAMN THING! Okay, okay. I got this. <sighs> relax. Relax. This is not the same situation as before. You're doing this to protect yourself. That's all. Huh? What's going on? This feeling. I can shoot all the cans at once, right? All I gotta do is... Hmm. Whoa! What the hell? We said the cans, not the- uh. Whoa. The, the hell was that? I thought you said that you never shot a gun before! Uh, I... didn't. Then, then, then how did you do that? I don't know, I just had a feeling to shoot at the pipe. Like it was instinct. Well, if that was instinct, then I think you should be fine when you get in there. Y yeah Was this what that imp guy was talking about? And the heightened senses and a much more durable body. And no, I didn't give those to you. I just unlocked it. No, no, someone else is responsible for that one. What is happening to me? Should I be worried about this? And what did he mean by someone else giving these powers to me? Another mystery is unfolding. Hmm. Wow. This is your final boarding call? Jeez. Is this what all nightclubs are like? Just a bunch of dudes and chicks bumping and grinding on each other? Usually. Pretty sure I saw that chick slip a pill into that dude's drink. Jeez, are demons just overly horny? It's like all their food is spiked with Viagra or something. Definitely wouldn't be out of the question. Uh, anyways, let's start the plane. Remember, stay discreet and no starting any fights. The less casualties, the better. I got the trail. Follow me, Miss Attack Dog. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. It leads past this door. Fucking damn it, it's locked. Think someone has the key? Wait a minute. Okay, just blind the sun the people and bam! Ta da! Saw it in a game called Splinter Cell. Cool, right? Don't get a big head, dweebs. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Kinda dark in here, huh? Y yeah just a bit. What? Scared of the dark, are we? Shh, shut up, dick. Just start walking already. And don't go too fast. Yeah, yeah. A lantern. It's still warm. Must have been just used by someone. Uh, hey, you got a match or a lighter or something? Uh, yeah, here. There. That should help. Stay close. There's no telling what could be ahead. Uh, 
Um, Luna, your claws are kind of digging into me. Huh? Oh, uh, my bad. You know, I never pictured you to be someone who's afraid of the dark. It's not the dark I'm afraid of. I'm just a bit on edge as to what's going to happen. I mean, whatever we find in here can either be dangerous or super fucked up. Well, not gonna lie, that is true. Don't worry, though. We'll be fine. Huh? What? Why'd we stop? There's something on the ground. And that smell. Don't you catch that? <laughs> yeah. Smells like copper. You'd be right about that. Look at the ground. Hmm. <laughs> it's blood. No shit, Sherlock. Where's it coming from? Inside there? I think so. Prepare yourself, alright? Huh? Holy shit! That's the guy from before! In Pentagram City! You sure that's him? Positive. They must have captured him and tortured him since he went missing. Poor guy. Yeah, yeah, boo fucking who. What I'm feeling right now is pissed. We did all that searching and shit just to find the guy dead. Tch, bitch can't tell us shit now. Relax, we're not beat yet. He can't tell us anything, but his body can. Here, hold the lantern. I'll start investigating. All right, let's see what you can tell us. Bamboo, an effective weapon. And judging from the wounds on the victim, I'd say this was used quite a bit. Clean gashes with torn skin in the end. Matches quite well. Strange. His fingers are severed. Judging from the bleeding, I'd say they started from his pinky, then to the rest. He's still bleeding quite a bit, too. The victim's death was recent. Had to have been done around an hour ago. An hour ago? So that means we basically just missed him. Damn it! Huh. What do we have here? I'm sure you're going to tell me. He's got some sort of mark on his neck. Probably a brand of some sort. It's a kanji. A what, G? Oh, a kanji. It's basically a Japanese symbol that's used in their alphabet. Usually, a single symbol can mean multiple things. But, when put together with other symbols, it can make an entire paragraph in seconds. Not sure what this symbol means, though. We'll have to take a look into this. This proves that this guy was spying on someone. I can't tell who just yet, but I'm certain that he wasn't along for the secret society's antics. Why attack him now? Perhaps he did something that pushed things too far. Come on, hurry it up. Somebody's bound to come in here, and the last thing I need is for some dick to come running his mouth off to us. Hold on. One more place to check. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Hold on. I think I found something. I just gotta push it out. The fuck? Is that a USB stick? Was that in the guy's throat? Yep. Seems like it. For whatever reason, he was trying to hide this. It must be important. Come on. Let's get out of here. The others are probably waiting on us. Nice work! Now that we have some more information, we should be able to- Jack, we got some trouble. Blitzo, what's going on? It's Millie. I think she didn't get the discreet part of the mission. Oh shit, okay, where are they? This way, come on! You know, I don't take kindly to people who talk shit about my moxie. You prissy, blood foot piece of dog shit! Hun, calm down, I think he got the picture, we should go now. Millie, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, hey, Zach! When'd you get back? We said be discreet! You pummeling a guy to the point of death is the exact opposite! What the- I tried to tell her, but she can get a bit... Uh, you know... 
<laughs> Motherfucker really didn't see that coming, huh? What a maroon! Uh, it doesn't matter. We got what we need, so let's... Huh? Wait. That thing on his belt. Is that... Millie, back away from him. Slowly. What's up with you? You look like you just saw a ghost. That guy is one of them. He has a Katsune mask. What? We need to go. Now. Before- I don't feel good about this. Chill out, Mox. It's probably just the faulty wiring. Um, uh, there's a lot of these mask guys now. We just got ambushed. All because of Moxie's easy-to-manage ass. Hey, this wasn't my fault! Guys, focus! We're kinda in the middle of something! This isn't good. There's too many of them. At least from our perspective. Great. Just... So, they have really big guns. Must be overcompensating for something. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days Kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better days Living life, every day Late at night, not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days, yeah, all I need are some better days, cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better days. Well that's just great, now we've got a huge fuck ton of dudes who want to tear us apart, if someone would have just stuck with the plan, regardless we've got a whole battle to deal with now, what's next? Ooh, Zack, I am in need of your assistance. God damn it. Next time on Hell of a Boss, the human and the hellhound, a not so normal day at the Goetia Mansion. Aren't we forgetting about something? We're kinda in the middle of. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure you'll pull through. See you then. Wait, hold on. Can't you help us with. Ugh, heaven damn it. <laughs>